It's the perfect time of year to enjoy a heaping helping of mashed potatoes. And Amanda Graff, one of our TV chefs, mom, sent her special recipe. And it includes two ingredients that aren't normally in mashed potatoes, horseradish and garlic. So I peeled five pounds of russet potatoes. So I'm just going to add these potatoes to this pot. You don't have to add the soaking water. Add four large cloves of garlic and water to cover, boil them until they're tender. Use some coarse salt in there too. So these have cooked to test for doneness. Just pierce it with a knife and this is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna get them right out of the water. I'm gonna put them right into this bowl. You can drain them in a colander or you can scoop them out like this with a big strainer. And then instead of mashing with the old fashioned masher, we're going to use a ricer. Let them cool just a little bit before you handle them. And in a saucepan, we're going to heat two thirds of a cup of milk. Two thirds and six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you don't have to measure the butter because Every stick of butter has eight tablespoons and two heaping teaspoons of prepared horseradish. I like a lot of horseradish, so I'm just going to add that right in and a little extra for good measure. Just stir this until the butter's melted. Let me show you the ricer. This is one version of a ricer. Some ricers have holes all along the sides, too. This one has only in the bottom, and we're going to put some potatoes right in this little ricer here. And now this press fits right down. Just press hard and you have this beautiful textured lumpless potato going right into your bowl. And then we add the liquid and just pour that over your potatoes. Now this can be made ahead of time and you can just keep it in this Pyrex bowl over a pot of simmering water. Keep this covered though so that it doesn't dry out. And it is really fragrant. And for those diehards out there who like a little bit more butter, you could add a few more tablespoons of butter to this. Season with salt and pepper. And notice how smooth and absolutely beautiful these potatoes are. Thanks very much, Joan Graff, for a lovely new recipe. Can't wait to try them.